In our last lesson, uh, we worked on um, extending the navigation. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to work on uh, adding a search, adding the right block and the footer, copyright section, and um, admin system written on the right. Okay, so if we get rid of um, all these paragraphs, uh, we're going to make um, a class, a row, and in there we'll have um, our header and uh, within the header we have another div, a class um, column MD uh, 5 and we'll have another one uh, 7 and uh, the first one uh, we are going to um, put an input type text so this is the search uh, field Okay, and the search field is for search for anything. Okay, so that's that. So if we reset the screen, we could see our search for something is there, which is going to look more like this. Okay, so in the second column, um, I think in the second column we are just added this up first. We are going to have a, a UL, an ordered list, and an LI. So we say welcome to your administration area and reset the screen. That's what we have. Welcome to administration area. And we can add another another ally. So this ally will have a few things in it. So there's a link and we have a span within the link. So this span is uh, is to recreate this icons here, the alert and message. If we're going to uh, components, uh, you will still have some icons here. So these are glyph icons. So there are over 200 of them, quite a few. So we can uh, we can use them. So within our span, we'll make a class, and we'll say glyph icon, and we'll add another class, uh, glyph icon, and this time bell. So this is to have the bell icon displayed. Okay, so we say um, area hidden and uh, true. So we don't want to display any content within um, the span. Okay, so if we reset, we'll have our icon there for the bell. So we want to add our alert um, message. So add another span, uh, class, and label, label warning. And we'll put a number in there. So if we reset, so we'll have a label there. Okay. Okay. So the other thing we want to do is uh, copy our li and copy it and then paste it. So we we'll have two of it and just change, change this around and change this here too to message. Okay, so there we have our icons. Okay, so let's uh, copy this and paste it one more time. And change this to log out. Get rid of this and just write log out. And if we reset, we have our log out icon and the text. So the page is coming along just fine. We just have the, the footer section to add on to um, our HTML. So we could um, minimize or hide the contents and then make a new div here and a class and a row, the same thing that we've always done and add a footer in within the row. Okay, and within our footer, we're going to have two divs. The first div, um, we're going to pull that uh, to the left, so it's going to float left, and the content um, is going to be in bold, um, it's copyright, and outside of our bold, we'll have uh, the copyright icon and 2015. Okay, and we can add another uh, class which we pull to the right and simply um, just have admin system written inside it. 
right so we're pretty much there so we have the footer which is not styled yet and just add a, a space um, just here that would do and there we go copyright 2015 and the icon is shown there and um, admin flows to the right okay so we'll get it styled looking more like this uh, you know very soon but for now the HTML is pretty much what we need as a as a hook um, for our CSS at some point all right so this is uh, this is where we'll stop for this lesson um, in the next lesson we'll um, carry on adding a few more HTML and um, styling um, I'll see you in the next lesson